dear Peace and Sports friends, it is now time to close this wonderful edition of the 2020 Peace and Sport Awards. Over the last five days, incredible initiatives using sport for the benefit of communities have been awarded. These initiatives have proven the unifying power of sport and its ability to transmit values that are essential to build fair, inclusive, and equitable societies. As Vice President of Peace and Sport, I would like to address my warmest congratulations to the new champion for Peace of the Year, Lionel Messi, who has applied for fair play inside and outside the pitch and for his commitment to peace building activities. Congratulations also to all the winners and all the nominees for their valuable work in the field. I would also like to thank all the eminent members of the jury committee, our partners and my fellow champion for, champions for peace who mobilized to keep the spirit of the Peace and Sport Awards alive on your screens. This 2020 Peace and Sport edition, despite such a particular context, context sorry, was a call for unity. It testified the power of the peace through sport movement worldwide. I wish you a good end of the year and keep up doing all your best, all the great work. Thank you very much.